everyone, welcome back to Dizzy Tales with me, Allie. Down here, my furry friend is Louie. He is my service dog, and he's going to be hanging out with us today. If you're new here, welcome to the Dizzy family. We're so happy that you joined us today. Also, if you want to see more content on vestibular migraine or just life in general or Louie's cute little face, you can't really see him right now. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit that little notification bell because it'll notify you every time I upload a new video, which is on Fridays. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay, friends, this week has been really rough vestibular migraine wise because usually the end of the month is when my preventative medication wears off. If you have not been following my journey, I'm currently on Egality because after two months of being on a Jovi insurance <laughs> denied it. So we're trying Emgality. So this is at the end of my first month of Emgality. I can definitely tell that there has been like a change in the intensity of my vestibular migraine attacks and episodes this past month while being on Emgality versus being on a Jovi. It turned out like for the first two weeks I ended up like having an ice pick headache and that, that wasn't good at all. And it did help, but I think Emgality is actually helping more. So if you don't know about Emgality, the first month you have to take a loading injection, which means you take two shots instead of one. So I'm coming off of the loading dose this month, and today I get my um, single shot, which I'm actually like, really excited about. I never thought I'd be so excited about a shot in my entire life, but... Um, I can definitely tell when it's wearing off and I'm just ready ready to get it today. Like I said, I feel like Emgality, it hasn't completely taken away or cut in half my um, vestibular migraines of the month, but the ones that I have had have been less intense. So. By taking, I'm still taking my rescue medication, which is rosotriptan, if you're curious. And with Emgality and taking my rescue medication, it has definitely lessened it. So instead of like having like a three or four day attack, I'm having like maybe a one to two day attack. And sorry, brain fog is literally forgot what I was gonna say. This has been my like whole life I guess the last two days I had one hit right before I went to therapy and I should have known that when Louie refused to get in the car that I should have just stayed home and did a virtual appointment but I didn't and five minutes into driving to my therapist's office Louie licked me on the chin and within five minutes I was having head pain and I was spinning at my appointment <laughs> so I ended up taking a rescue medication and so thankfully I was able to drive home but I should have listened to my service dog instead of ignoring its alert so yeah so he's been uh, stuck to me like glue for the past two days just watching my every move and yeah not really letting me out of his sight at all already likes to be by me but this is even um, more than usual okay on to that little sidebar that we just had um, what was I saying yeah the intensity of my vestibular migraine is way more man manageable I probably already said this but I can't remember if I did or not I have been able to function better like I'm able to go to church now uh, thanks to uh, my handy dandy uh, Weather X earplugs, so I'm not able to handle the um, really loud noise, so I just wear them. And we found a place to sit 
where I'm not totally overwhelmed by the carpet situation. I've also been able to hang out with my friends, which I hadn't done in a really long time. Uh, I've made it to almost every soccer game that my kids have had. Um, I'm able to spend more time with them, more time with our family, instead of being cooped up here in the bedroom. And that just makes my heart so happy that I am actually being more involved in my life instead of having to take a backseat because uh, VM has decided to take over my life. It's nice to be able to take my life back a little bit. So overall, I would say that this first month of Mgality has been a success. I do see my neurologist in like two weeks and I'm sure we'll talk about Mgality and how it's working. But I do know that this type of medication uh, does take, I believe, like up to three to six months to actually like see a difference. So this trial period is, is kind of the long haul right now. If the first month was any indication, I really hope that next month is going to be better. Okay, my phone totally crapped out or whatever, freaked out, and I'm editing this right now. Uh, I first off want to apologize for all the brain fog <laughs> and all the pauses and everything, but that's just my life right now with Mr. Wheeler Migraine, and I'm coming out of a migraine, so I'm in the post phase, which would be the migraine hangover, so there's a lot of brain fog with that. Um, but I think I was saying that if this first month of Engality is any, indi any indication with the positive response to it, um, I'm excited to see like what month two is going to be and further on along, along the road when it like builds up in my system and am I going to be able to definitely like cut those migraine days in half which would be amazing. I think what I'm trying to say <laughs> is that if you are a person who struggles with migraine and like myself, every preventative I tried did not do anything. So my last resort basically uh, was to try the injectable migraine medication. Um, it is anti-CGRP medication in that in the class of anti-CGRP. And I hate getting shots, but getting stuck once a month right now for the success that I had this month, it was totally worth it. I'm actually really excited to get my shot today because I hope I'm going to get some relief in all of this. But I guess we'll um, see where that goes and I'll definitely update you guys on month two. I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm not really sure where I was going with this video, but if you've made it all the way to the end, you are a trooper and a champ because this is kind of, this is definitely all over the place. You definitely got to see Brain Fog Alley in action uh, and Migraine Alley in action. So I'm hoping at some point to do like a, a, a videoing my migraine so that those who are curious will get to experience or watch what um, I go through. Obviously, not going to be able to experience all of it, but so I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching and um, oh yeah, VEDA, if you don't know what VEDA is, VEDA is the Vestibular Disorder Association and they are putting on Steps to Balance Week, which is in two weeks. It starts May 18th and it runs through the 22nd. Uh, right now, you can go on their website and play Flamingo uh, Bingo, which is what I'm doing right now. I can actually show you my card. This is what it looks like. And it tells you how to play and everything. Basically, there are things to like encourage you um, to get up and do things like uh, buddy up, um, go outdoors, reward yourself, get social, set an alarm, do the flamingo. All those sorts of types of things so I've thoroughly been enjoying um, doing this so I encourage you all to go out and do it I'll also link their website down below so you can know more about the event that's happening they're also gonna do Facebook lives I know um, one of them is gonna be on BPBV 
So that'll be interesting. Uh, hopefully they're going to have more talks. And there's also fundraising going on because if you don't know, vestibular disorders are not widely known or recognized and therefore there is not a whole lot of funding for them. We are just bringing awareness to all vestibular uh, disorders. And that includes vestibular migraine. I think that's it. And like I said, I'll link Veda's website down below. I'll also link my fundraising page if you want to donate to Veda. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next Friday video and hopefully I'll be more coherent this time. So thanks for sticking with me. Have a great weekend. Bye.